is always at the wrong place at the wrong time. Welcome to the party, pal! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our top 10 favorite Bruce Willis performances. Oh, I see it, dead people. Come on. Number 10, John Hartigan, Sin City. Kicking off our list is Willis's perfectly cast role in Frank Miller's film noir adaptation of Sin City. Maybe you are right. How bad to hear you're finally talking sense. As an aging police officer, he protects a smoking hot Jessica Alba from a deformed psychopathic murderer. We need to get out of here right this second. Whatever you say, Hardigan, let me throw some clothes on. Between the facial scar and the trench coat, Willis gives fans what they want. A stupid old man who is gruff, stoic, cynical, yet completely selfless, strong-willed, and sees things through. Number 9. Eddie Hawkins, Hudson Hawk You come back here without your little Cub Scout army and I'll kick your centrally intelligent ass up one side of Piazza and down the other! In this almost cartoon-like comedic outing, Willis plays a master cat burglar who's been blackmailed into robbing the Louvre. Sure, it was a box office bomb, but we blame the marketing geniuses who promoted the film as a traditional action flick. Trust us, Willis is anything but John McClane here. Anna, we're supposed to be saving you! I'm sorry, I got bored, so I saved myself. Instead, he's a cappuccino-craving smartmouth who gets into wildly bizarre situations while singing to time his heists. Everybody's singing a song! Number 8. Harry S. Stamper, Armageddon. It's big oil to the rescue. Well, an oil driller and his team, to be more specific. As the overprotective dad turned world-saving astronaut, Willis is charged with blowing up a meteor headed to Earth. We can't imagine any other actor as the roughneck genius who never misses his mark. Willis manages to spit action movie cliches with no trace of irony, and we love him for it. Houston, you have a problem. Problem. You see, I promised my little girl that I'd be coming home. I don't know what you people are doing down there, but we got a hole to dig up here. His heartfelt sacrifice is enough to make even the most uptight guy fill his popcorn cup with man tears. Number 7. Corbin Dallas, The Fifth Element Saving the world is Bruce's thing. Playing a former Special Forces major turned cabbie in the 23rd century, Willis falls in love with the perfect woman. You're right, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I, it was wrong to kiss you. And helps her recover four mystical relics while sporting an orange tank top and blonde hair. While we're used to seeing him kick a lot of ass and save the planet, he's never been so all-around deadly or surprisingly tender. Lilu Dallas Multipass. Yeah. Multipass. Lila, uh, multipass. She knows it's multipass. Lila Dallas, my wife. Number six, James Cole, 12 Monkeys. You can't travel back in time. Whoop, whoop, uh -uh. You're not here. As a convicted criminal living in a post-apocalyptic future, Willis is sent back to the 90s as an observer to find out what happened. His role is centered on misperceptions and madness, and casting Willis was a stroke of genius. He jumps between strong-willed, vulnerable, and incredibly confused, making this high-concept tale a must-see. Wouldn't it be great if I was crazy? The then the world would be okay. I wouldn't Give have to live gun. underground. I lost Where the gun. Where is the gun? I could live right here. Number five, David Dunn, Unbreakable. Willis has the everyman character down to a science, and this movie is a great example. In this M. Night Shyamalan thriller with a twist, are you surprised? Willis plays a security guard who discovers he cannot be hurt and is much stronger than everyone else. How much did you put on that time? All of it. Awesome poncho aside, he makes us believe an ordinary man can become a superhero, even without the cape and tights. He also convinces us that water can be as deadly as kryptonite. Number 4. Dr. Malcolm Crowe, The Sixth Sense Bruce Willis in sci-fi is just a good match. For his most ominous role, it's another pairing with Shyamalan, where Willis plays a child psychologist working to cure a boy who sees ghosts. Dr. Crowe, you believe my secret, right? I don't know how to answer that call. As a gentle professional whose job is to build trust, Bruce manages not only to befriend the child, but also to captivate us with his personal struggle and seemingly broken marriage. No other Bruce Willis flick will leave you questioning so much for so long. Number 3. Butch Coolidge, Pulp Fiction after several box office bombs in the 90s, this performance spectacularly rejuvenated Willis's career. Thankfully, he risked it all by accepting to star in Quentin Tarantino's low-budget classic. 
Tarantino gets a truly gritty performance out of the actor as a boxer who refuses to take a dive and ends up in a precarious situation, to say the least. Number 2. David Addison Jr. Moonlighting. Drama, comedy, and romance, this television series has it all. This role gave Willis his first true taste of fame and allowed him to have all kinds of fun as the carefree, fast-talking detective opposite Sybil Shepherd. Haven't you ever had a fantasy like this? About a night like this on a train like this? Yep, only none of these people were in it, including you. I love it when you talk mean to me. We're glad Willis beat out thousands of other candidates for the part. Can you imagine movies without him? I-E-S-B-C-T, take care of T-C-B, wow, babe! Number one, John McClane, Die Hard. There are rules for policemen. Yeah, that's what my captain keeps telling me. Taking the top spot on our list is the iconic role that launched him onto Hollywood's A-list and forever redefined the action genre. As McLean, Willis is a modern-day John Wayne. I was always kind of partial to Roy Rogers, actually. I really like those sequined shirts. He's a no-nonsense vigilante cop from New York with an itchy trigger finger, a foul mouth, and a never-say-die attitude. The last thing he wants to be is a hero, but someone's got to do it. Nine million terrorists in the world, and I gotta kill one with feet smaller than my sister. Do you agree with our list? Which is your favorite Bruce Willis performance? Be sure to click the subscribe button before hunting down more fun videos at WatchMojo.com. Relax, guys, I'm fine. Just gonna go make a phone call.